Welcome guys, uh, I'm doing a bit of standard today. Um, I've just put together an Angels deck. It's uh, the mono white version, I guess. Uh, we're, we're running quite a few planes and we're running four laydown arms. I feel like this removal card makes every white deck that much better. So maybe it makes the Angels deck quite good. Um, we've we are running Archangel of Wrath so this adds a little complication you've got to figure out how you're getting black and red mana in the deck and having plain, uh, lots of planes so I thought let's have a couple of the trilands that count as planes this one can give you black this one can give you red so we've still got, tw uh, not 20, we've got 19 planes in the deck. I think 24 land total. And four secluded courtyards, because this this actually this should work for kicker costs, because I think it's an ability of the creature. Um, yeah, so and I think we can get away with four tap lands. Uh, basically, I've put in all of the sort of mono white angels. Uh, you can't. There is a. There are some. A couple of blue white angels. There's a couple. There's um. It's a black white angel, liaison. There's a black angel called I think um, the angel of sorrow or something like that. Uh, actually, yeah. In fact, it's quite easy to look these up. Let's just search for angels. So. And not enchantments. And not. There we go. Uh, let's. Yeah, right. So, you can see I have left out several of them. Uh, Sir Redeemer works with the Power 2 deck. It's designed for that deck, right? Uh, I think uh, quarter, pa uh, quarter, <laughs> quarter Pounder. Quarter Master is. Um, I don't know, not that impressive. Not that impressive, so... Yeah, some of the uncommon angels I'm skipping. They're quite expensive. This one gets cheaper with citizens. We're not going to have many citizens. Uh, and then you can see... There we go, Angel of Suffering is the Black Angel, the Nightmare Angel. The Ace is the Forgotten Archangel. The blue ones, you've got Celestial Regulator and Metropolis Angel. So that can that can give you a bit of card draw. This can lock something down. Those, those seem pretty decent and playable. You could definitely go blue-white angels, I think. Um, and Chad Seraph is quite expensive. It's seven mana for this guy. Uh, you've got the Artifact Angel, which is quite interesting. Um, I mean, it's a 2-2 flyer for 4, but it is an angel. So, yeah, maybe it's playable. Maybe it's playable. Um, and this, I'll tell you what this would be good for, upping the artifact count in the deck. You could play sort of artifacts and enchantments and get the the payoff for those cards. The, uh... Yeah, um... um if I do that and that, maybe you'll see what I mean. And we can find the relevant land. Roadside Reliquary. If you're playing Roadside Reliquary and you, you want artifacts and enchantments in the deck, you see, you could uh, you could do that kind of angel deck, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting uh, diverted here a bit. But uh, yeah, so... The main thing is I, I've recently obtained uh, a couple more Archangels of Wrath, of Wrath, so I wanted to try these out. And I've just chucked in all the um, pretty powerful looking angels and quite a bunch of uh, removal cards. And one thing to mention in removal, I've got a couple of candle traps. The reason for this card, um, it's got uh, the Coven ability. You can sacrifice candle trap to exile the creature. That's important because it sends the candle trap to the graveyard then your Sarah Paragon can come along and you can cast Candle Trap again from the graveyard and do that on another creature and so on. Uh, well, it will um, 
then the candle trap will get exiled on the second use. But uh, it seems it seemed quite it seems quite efficient to do that. So I thought that was worth a try. And I'm going to try this uh, Luxior Giada's gift. I've got just one copy, and it can turn a planeswalker into a big creature. And it works well with things that have got lots of tokens. With four Giardas, we're putting tokens on our angels. So uh, maybe this uh, this could do something. So and I think I will try this in uh, ranked. I'm still down in silver. I think we'll try best of one. We don't have well, we don't have a sideboard, so of course we'll try best of one. And if if this goes reasonably well, I might I might do a second session with this deck with a sideboard in best of three. But if you're of course if you're a monocolor deck, you you, you have slightly fewer options. Right, okay, that's good. We've got Giada in the opening hand, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we can uh, lay down arms on this card. And make a bank buster. Restoration seems good. Dig out a planes card. And obviously we're not gonna be blocking, so we may as well fly over. So we could discard the Bank Buster and get another one out. Edgar! Right, let's, uh, let's play Planes. Oh, we're getting a bit battered here. We'll, uh, we'll draw a card. Hey, candle trap. That's that's a good answer to <laughs> Edgar Charmed Groom, I've gotta say. So it's the classic Grindy Orzov deck, it looks like I'm up against. I used to play this. It uh, The wins take a while, but I'd say it's got a pretty good win rate, usually. Okay, the Jetmir's Garden gives us access to red mana. We might want to... Well, we've got actually quite a lot of card draw. We might want to use this as extra card draw, though. I think uh, I will play the Secluded Courtyard and name Angel. And I can draw two cards with these. Uh, 
one thing to mention here. Now I think of it. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, he wants to draw a card. I get it. I'm quick off the mark like that. So, uh, what I'm going to do... No, no. Okay, yeah. Let's do block there. Block there. I think I'm okay with doing that. Get up. And then that will actually switch on Coven, which is pretty cool. Um, I am going to exile Mr. Edgar. And I'm going to draw a card off this one. And, uh... No, we can't use that mana, unfortunately. Uh, we will... Attack like this. Uh, six, seven mana uh, should be enough to draw three cards. Seems good. Destroy evil on that. Yes. Uh... Let's see, we, we are... No, I don't, actually, I don't have a way of saving him. Now I think of it. Probably no reason to do that. Extraction Specialist. Yeah, that's the classic combo. You get to draw some cards. Draw a card there. And I'm gonna I've got a treasure there. If I if I draw the uh, Archangel of Wrath I can I can use the get both triggers and I so I don't need this land, I can cycle it and draw another card. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's a good number of cards. We're not having much luck actually finding any other angels. Doesn't have a huge, num a huge number of angels to this deck. Uh, put a, yeah, you can give something double strike. Right, so. Um, lay down arms on this. Pretty excessive, but gets rid of a blocker. We're going to get some more damage through. Um, three point march on this. This seems excessive as well. Kayla's command can get me another dude. I can do six damage. But I think I... No, I will... Uh, oh, let's uh, crew that quickly before I forget. Attack like that. And to the turn. Maybe, uh, do we want to play the Rafine's Tower? No. Okay, that's pretty good. Right. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to draw a card off the Bank Buster. Get third Giada. <laughs> um, sure. Giada number three. We can cycle both Rafine's Tower and draw two cards. That seems good. Did I did I say that Orzov was grindy? Cycle. Cycle. Hey, we hit another angel. Wow. I do have other angels in the deck, apparently. Um, March of Otherworldly Light. Wedding announcement seems good. It's going to give him too much value. Cool. Right. Ao the dawn sky. Hello, you should have um, got rid of me instead. Great Elspeth, and then I have four mana left over. Oh, we can still cast Enduring Angel with mana from Giada. That's cool. Let's do that. That gets to be a 5-5. Five five. That's pretty cool. And it's got double strike. <laughs> right, let's... So, oh yeah, Elspeth. It's, there's not enough permanence in the deck that Elspeth can hit with that ability. I'm going to put... Um, I know there's a hero inside you. Oh, first strike. Yes, please. First strike. And then swing in. And then he can pump his team so he has three, three, threes. Or he can get stuff out of his deck. We'll see what happens. Because uh, you did get, you got something out. You got another wedding announcement, number three. This has double strike. We can give something else double strike. Wait, no. Let's take out the counter. Three cards left. Oh, destroy all creatures. Okay. Did I say Orzov is grindy? Um, did I mention it? Right. Right. We're going for another Giada. We're going for an inspired overseer. That's getting go for the throat. Okay. Play another land, I think that's fine. 
Uh, if we could put out a 2-2 two, two, and maybe scry for 2. And then that we could use the minus 3 on Elspeth to get something out of... Yeah, that's that sounds interesting to me. I did have this the plan of... Um, using double strike to kill my opponent. Okay, well, we have not fa We've got a removal spell. That's a good hit. Uh, we are going to... Put a token on... How about the construct? Yeah. Show him what you've got. Let's give him uh, flying. He's down to one card. How many board wipes has he got left? Oh, he's got Sorin the Mirthless. That's pretty good. I take no joy in he is getting his card advantage going. Dire times call for dire tactics. And he can get a nice card out of his graveyard. But we just kill Sorin, don't we? Be brave. We can get a lifelink. Now, uh, we, we've got different targets for the march. That's quite good, because obviously he's going to draw a card off the companion. He's going to get a 3-4 creature. But this is going to bring back AO, so that might be a better target. Yep, he's cast that. I think exiling it. Very good plan for the future. I won't let you harm innocent bystanders. Make sure that's the right thing. Hey, here we go. Fun times. Right. Archangel of Wrath. Well, uh, let's... Let's see. We can actually hit him for 6 plus 4. Uh, we can hit him for 11. We can go face. So, yes. Let us see what we've got here. He's got flying. He's got lifelink. Uh, I think you should have... Lifelink as well, or maybe Vigilance. So that should be 7 damage. And we'll just test these secluded courtyards and see if they do indeed give me access to both kickers. So red kicker, please, and black kicker. Does he have instant life gain? Is the other question. We got him! Finally! Yeah. After two sweepers, we got there in the end. So the only... Yeah, the weakness with Elspeth... Um, I feel... We don't have a lot of cheap... Uh, permanents. Three mana or less permanents. That's the only drawback. But... Um, it's not too big of a deal. Okay. 
Okay, we have a two mana hand. Giada will give us extra mana for angels. These two. Uh, but not this card. And we'll draw an extra card. So, fingers crossed, we get a third land. Oh, it is a red deck. Well, we got a third land. Good news. We're playing a tap land and doing nothing turn one. That might be too slow. But we've got we got this little Archangel of Wrath coming later. Maybe that will a three four life link might be challenging to deal with for the red deck. We've got a blocker there, but we could um, block. Save some damage. Okay, Reckless Stormseeker. Wow, that's even more damage. That's um, that's seven damage. Okay. Uh, we can bring out a four-five Archangel of Wrath with Giada next turn if we don't block here. I think we'll take the damage. We really didn't manage to draw any removal cards. What am I talking about? We did we've got Wandering Emperor, but that's next turn unfortunately. Um Right, so that can gain us two life. Worth mentioning. Uh, this can give us a 2-2 two, two creature and gain us two life, in fact. That's... That could be good. Or we just go for the 4-5 uh, the Archangel and put the... Uh, you know, he could have two burn spells to kill it. Okay, let's uh, let's try something different. Let's try the Kayla's command. Okay, we're going to do that one. We're going to make a two-two. We're going to get rid of that. Let's get a creature that draws us a card. Attack for two, and let's do that. Hey, bloodthirsty adversary, how boring. Phoenix check. Sure. So, uh, we've got to actually take down the etching because this will exile all of our creatures. Uh, we are taking a grand total of eight damage here. Uh, probably good idea to trade off for a phoenix chick. The phoenix chick comes back next turn because you've got so many attackers. Phoenix chick is hard to deal with. If we block here, we take six. Um, yeah. Let's do that. I think we have to block. Okay, we get that. Okay, Angel. So, Wandering Emperor, take out the Stormseeker, and we're facing three damage. Uh, and we're on eight life. And then the following turn, we've got Archangel of Wrath with a ping, a two life ping. So this this gains me two life. Let's play this now in my turn. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you. Will it be enough? We judgment is fun. Red deck needs to do five damage with two cards and four mana. One of them's a mountain, that's good. That's that does one damage. I'm that dies done. to Kamano, because that's the hidden ability of Kamano. It does one damage to each planeswalker. Uh, we play the planes. 
I think we might have stabilized, and we Archangel and Ping the Phoenix Chick. Right? Go red. Up to six life. Next creature gets a token. Is it another big haste creature? We block it. He's got lightning strike to kill the Archangel of Wrath, but then he's going to concede. Okay, that was that was some game, I've got to say. Quite satisfying to beat Mono Red on the draw when he had, and that was a pretty pretty aggressive draw. Lots of haste creatures. But yeah, not he didn't he didn't have much removal. It's just the lightning strike at the end. And that's a good first step. We got to gold. I wonder if the uh, I did that that command Kyla's command to make a two two and scry for two and gain two life, which kind of an interesting decision because I could have rushed out my archangel and make it a four five life link, but I thought he might be able to burn that down. Okay, here we're doing better for early removal. Uh, we've got Giada again. Uh, Giada can ramp out the Steel Seraph as well. Even if we miss a land drop. And she, well, assume, assuming she doesn't die. Steel Seraph, okay, that's, that's, uh, that's not happening. Okay, fair enough. Go, uh, no, let's play the planes. Let's, um, let's play Giada. See if she gets countered. Maybe the correct decision is Seraph, because then this is a cheap creature, and I could maybe, I could maybe double spell in a later turn, because now he could have the two-point power sink, so I don't really want to play my Steel Seraph here, so I'll, I'll wait till next turn. Yeah it, yeah, it means he can get away with that, you see, that is a big problem. Now, if he didn't have a counter spell, he definitely has one now. <laughs> Okay, we'll play that for Angels. We'll play a cheap Steel Seraph with two mana available. So we're playing around one of the counter spells. He's considering. Okay, found the answer, I think. Because, no he didn't. He got rid of the Thirst for Discovery. He's looking for the answer. Okay, interesting. It's resolved. Let's see if it gets bounced, I suppose. Left link, please. Right. Well, yeah, he got he got lots of these, didn't he? That's three of his thirst for discoveries out. And he has many cards. There's the Tolarian Terror. Okay. I need to get to six planes to uh, kill that. I've only got five planes. Uh, 
Terra and Terra, number two. Number three, number four. No? Okay. Okay, we need we need to get the planes number six. So we'll play this as a land. Uh do we candle trap? Let's, um, we're not chump blocking with this guy. Let's swing in with lifelink. And just, just to recap how much it costs to march of otherworldly light at Tolerian Terra. Starts off at Eight, you add two for the ward. It's ten mana to uh, march a Tolerian Terra. I guess this is why this this card is not so popular at the moment. We'll try a Candle Trap, because that's what we can afford to do. It's a shore up. Okay. Four cards left. Okay, and turn. We need to hit planes number six. We feel bad about having a secluded courtyard now. Oh, and that's balanced. Okay. Well, if you will draw six extra cards, that's he's going to have a lot of answers. So I'm looking at 10 damage. I want a top deck of planes. Okay, this helps me find the planes. Let's see if I'm allowed to do it. Um, we could gain two life. We could make a chomp blocker. That will affect that will effectively be worth five life or one of his cards, one of his bounce spells. But scrying for two is also good. We need a plane, so hundred percent. And we will try and make a chump blocker. See if we're allowed to. Nice, okay. Planes. Very good. Player planes. We now have, because this counts as a plane, so we have six. So we can tap, it costs three mana to lay down our arms on a terror. Uh, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna go ahead and steal Seraph. Because I'm sure he has more counter spells, and I wanna find those counter spells first. If he doesn't do anything about this, I can gain three life next turn. Okay, cool. We could even try and um, double block. Now, if we double block, he might have sure up to give to pump his terror and, and win the battle. But that's one less uh, protection spell. He could he could have a bounce spell for one of these, so bounce that, take out the seraph. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and trade off. Let's let's see if we if this works. I'd be surprised if it works. Interesting, okay. But there's the follow up. Okay, because he has another one. Three cards left. Another planes. Cool. Okay. Remember, we need 10 mana for March to actually kill one of these. Uh, 
Right, so we are dead next turn. We've got this has got to actually work. He has a slip out the back. Okay. And we'll try to lay down arms on this one. And we'll get ready on the good game. Yes, he had two counter spells to protect both his terrors, of course. Naturally. So that's that. It's that kind of game where you, you um, it makes you want to take the uh, the march of otherworldly light out of the deck because it's so bad against that particular card that's very popular at the moment. In a best of three, you 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 could sideboard in a couple of extra candle traps. So, just another cheap removal spell. Okay. Lay down arms is not looking too good because we only have one plane in this opener. I guess we'll see if we can use a Ganjo as a removal spell, if it comes to it. Could be a red deck, Could, which is always a very going to be a very close game. It's a it's a black red deck. Is it going to be the uh, the anvil? I think it's a bit less common now the, with all the new stuff available. It's Kumano. That's, uh, that's already unusual. I don't see Kumano in, in a black red deck too often. Oh, Kumano and Akiba Reckoner Raid. Okay, I did watch a video. Um, it's uh, Jund Enchantments. It was uh, a Power Dragon video. It had both these cards. It might be that deck. Let's see. Not much good. These are this kills creatures. Yeah. Okay, my turn. We're a little bit slow, but we've got two planes in play now. We have a march of otherworldly light. Um. What do we? Which one is more dangerous? Is a good question. I I think uh, it's Kumano. He might not have a creature, of course, but um, that just does direct damage, and then the creature's got evasion. So this could be more dangerous. But if he had a haster, one of those. Two threes or three threes could be quite challenging. Okay. Right, obviously this is dangerous from the graveyard. I think this gets a candle trap.
Okay, Gex Yorgmoth Praetor. Right. Uh, what we can do, this can give me a planes. I'll play it, and then I can lay down arms on this guy. Exile him. Seems seems like a pretty good solution. But I really hit a lot of removal this game so far. Oh, that's a shield rid. Well, fair enough. Well, now I feel like a bit of a doofus. <laughs> um, we could... Well, we can stop Shieldred from attacking. We could get Candle Trap out for free. We might, I think we want to use this to, the yeah, Ganjo to kill the Captain. Let's dis yeah, let's discard Candle Trap. Attach to Shieldred, so at least Shieldred can't attack. Uh, play a Planes. We have five mana. I think we've got to hold up a Ganjo mana here. Inspiring Overseer suddenly is not such a good deal. Suddenly it becomes a Phyrexian Rager and costs me a life point when I cast it, which is quite funny. Yeah, I had four planes. The, the, the lay down arms would have taken out Shieldred, of course. Interesting. Kill his own creature, put it in the graveyard so it can unearth. Okay, he's got he's got stuff. Fair to say. Um gotta preserve our life total and kill this, I think. That's right, we've got a three four blocker now, that's quite good. Um But yes, we need to uh we do a Giada. This comes out and has three power. Giada has two power. Okay. Of course, I'm doing the the calculate the Coven calculations. Next Overseer. Oh yeah, uh, that's that's a little issue. Yeah, he um, that was very worthwhile for him. So that's going to double strike and do me four damage. So I think it's bye bye, Architect of Restoration. Okay, that's dead. That's fair enough. I have to, yeah, got to preserve the life total here against a Shieldred I can't deal with. So that's got to happen. As painful as it is, I've got to lose this guy. Okay, we have a Sarah Paragon now. To cast so that can help me cast things from the graveyard. We can do an Archangel, we'll do two damage, but mm. okay. Well, this is gonna cost me one life point, but let's do it anyway. Let's do Inspiring Overseer. Let's see if we can draw something. Uh, we've got this problem of a 2-2 two -two creature arriving. I'm gonna... yeah. I'm not attacking. He's on 35 life. We've gotta just stay back for safety reasons.
Mesh reclaimed by Gix. Whenever you attack, oh god. Go for the throat on that one. Okay. This is going to do one damage when this attacks. Um. And then this is going to do one damage when it attacks. But I can Archangel of Wrath and kill it that way. So I get the two life points back in a way. Uh, and then I have Coven. It's very difficult to get Coven if I lose this creature. It's just too late. Uh, okay, I'm going to do no blocks here. Because I think I survived the... Okay, I go down to one when that happens. Not ideal. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just dead next turn. It's not great. I can Elspeth, give that life link and gain three life. Then he attacks with two, and I take someone four. I lose two. I block that. I take two more, so I'm dead. Man, this is tricky. Um, okay. Sarah Paragon can candle trap the Mishra. But then I'd, I'd die. Uh, I don't think Archangel of Wrath works. Let's, let's do it anyway. And no attacks. So, just has to attack with Mishra and I lose, because Mishra's doing one damage, direct damage, every time it attacks. But Archangel of Wrath can block, and it's got lifelink. Ah, okay. Maybe there is still hope. He's got two mana for a removal spell. Playing the underdog... Not attack, isn't that interesting? So, down to one life. Player planes. We have Coven, so there is no other possibility. These two will attack and do me two direct damage because of Mishra's ability. I've got to do this though. I can't do anything other than that. I could have done that maybe as a surprise, but I'll just, I'll just do that now. So I think Archangel of Wrath has to attack and gain me three life. And then these, these two have to block next turn. Yeah, probably just a chump block as well, because he can activate an attack with a bank buster. Such a, an interesting game, I think. So yeah, not the not quite the black red deck I thought, a black red green deck. It, um, but yeah, this is just the the Mishra meld deck, I guess. Right, we've got to attack and gain some life. That's the only only possibility here. I wonder if is what's the record for surviving against a uh, a shieldred and not killing it. Well, probably some deck that has lots of life gain. Hopefully he doesn't risk his bank buster and uh, maybe overseer can trade with 
underdog. And then he's and then he's got to pay four mana every turn to attack the underdog. Good draw. That can now, next turn, that can kill Archangel. So I take two direct damage. This blocks here, this chomp blocks here. Right. So I've got Sarah Paragon. And a uh, candle trap from the graveyard. He can attack with these two, though. Um, um, so I'm dying to two direct damage right at this minute. So I think Candle Trap is the only option. So yeah, you can still blitz this out, do two direct damage. So I've got to attack with Archangel of Wrath to gain life so I don't die to Mishra's ability. But then I will die anyway. Pretty sure, I think. So I can only block one of them. Actually, I might. Maybe I'll be on one life. Okay, that's a removal spell. He's still got enough for this. So I think that is good game. Six damage, just enough. Of course, the Mishra can, yeah, crew the Bankbuster, so he did have plenty. Right, okay, we're, gonna, we're drawing an extra card. I think this should be good enough, hopefully, if we draw it well. We'll see. Yes. Okay, good start. Misery's Shadow. Pump that to 3-3. Three, three. It also causes my creatures to exile. Ah, that's the point to that. It crews. Nice. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, now we're uh, already in trouble. It's looking like we can tap this and play Archangel of Wrath, and that will be a four-five blocker. So that will that will attract removal, I guess. There's the Inspiring Overseer that gains me a life point, draws a card. And maybe I can... Archangel Wrath can do two damage next turn. And let's may as well swing in for two like that. See if he taps out his mana this turn. Yes, he did. It's not necessarily good news, but... Um, so... Take four. <laughs> oh, Shieldred happens to be tapped, by the way. Um, so, Shieldred's dead. We can, yeah, trade these two off for Bankbuster. They will get exiled, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're going to say that's a good deal. He doesn't get any cards off the Bankbuster. Overseer was kind of free in terms of cards. I will take that on the chin. I'll play this. And play Wandering Emperor before Shieldred untaps. This is what you get for hurting my people. Of course the Mistress Foundry could come in there. Okay, he's gonna do that, sure. Okay, sure. Pump it up to six damage. All right. Sort of hoping that I will kill that and um, he will gain a card, I suspect. Right, the, uh, the upshot of killing that is that I can put a counter on Archangel of Wrath. I'll still have Candle Trap for something else. It's kind of funny to use Candle Trap on that. Um, but I can still, I can Candle Trap and play Giada and put a token on Giada. And do a double kicker, Archangel, next turn if Giada survives. Oh, nice. Okay. He's getting two creatures back, but he didn't. Did he have anything else he could do? Okay, right. Well, expensive removal spell, got to say. We drew top deck to planes. So that's very good news. So, uh, I think we're not under threat here. Do we... Right, we can make a Samurai token with the Emperor. That seems good. We hold the Archangels of Wrath back. Uh, well, let's give this guy flying. So 
already got vigilance. That's a nice line of dialogue. I was the wandering emperor saying, let's do this together. There's another shoulder, okay. That's gonna get the transmogrant's crown, I'm guessing. Yeah, a 40 Archangel of Wrath only does 4 damage. Okay. Uh, you know what's going to be good against Shieldred? A creature with lots of lifelink, I think. Uh, let's build this guy up. He's, he's only got colorless mana. So, another plus one, plus one. Show them how we greet our enemies. Be brave. Life link, please. Build up my life total a bit. I think um, Archangel of Wrath is gonna just go face with the kicker. It's gonna gain, gonna gain me four more life. Need to build up, build up a bit of a, a life total here. That has first, uh, first strike. He's really got to kill this, I think. Um, Elspeth is about to make five three three angels as well, which uh, that's that seems good. So Gix's command. Okay, that's going to um, be bad. So, yeah, my 5-5 five five is gone. Shieldred is getting lifelink and it's becoming 8-7, as you do. He, uh, the Shieldred can kill the Elspeth unless I block. I will chomp block with my Archangel. I want to preserve Shieldred, not Shieldred, Elspeth. Cool to see a Gix's command deck, I've got to say. Um, I'm on... Wandering Emperor's on two. I think that seems like a good option. I guess that's it then. You're done. Um, let's be greedy with Elspeth. Let's, uh, shall we, let's play an Inspiring Overseer. Yeah, let's play our planes. Let's put a lifelink. Show them what you've got. On there, let's play a bank buster. And end the turn. It's got two Mistress Foundries, that is a good point. Yeah. So is that gonna get pumped to four four or he's gonna he's gonna attack with another one? Okay. Uh, good point. I'd sort of forgotten he could do this. Yeah, if, I, if I'd given that first strike, that might have been uh, smart. Uh, so, yeah, let's let we'll trade here. I'm fine with that. I'm going to use this guy. To draw lots of cards, I think. Hey, I'm just 
running an errand. He's going to draw a card, of course. This works out quite well for him, that trade. Uh, draw a card here. Yeah, it's a different, maybe a slightly different kind of mono black. We want a creature in play to uh, buff up. Are we... Yeah, let's go face again with this. Let's give it first strike. Be brave. And then next. Uh, and let's let's block with it as well. I could send in the bank buster, but I don't think I don't think I'll bother. Let's think, Gix's Command, it's only killing power 2 creatures, so 3-3 three, three Angels are safe from that. Uh, boom, let's do it. Once I've rested, I'll be back. Never forget that Angels go That's going you. away. Not demon. Oh. Yeah, I could have attacked the bank buster. That's uh, I want to draw a card off it, I think. Yes, I'm going to keep playing planes. Uh I'm going to draw off my bank buster now. I'm pretty confident. Could even play something for two mana if I if I did get it. I think we should have this one in the bag, uh, unless he's got a, a sweeper. Nice. A bit of a grind again, uh, but we got there. We're dealing with Shieldred pretty nicely. Just wondering... Um Yeah, I lost to the black red Mishra deck. I'm uh I'm gonna go down to one march and go up to four candle traps. It it's quite he heavy sort of anti creature stuff. I mean the the march is good because it's flexible, it can take out anything, but um it's best of one Q. So it's gonna have a lot of creature aggro decks I think it might that might be a a good idea and the the other thing is the blue te it's much better against the blue tempo deck
Hey, we uh, we do love our two land hands. I guess it's because we're playing twenty four. Uh, let's let's keep seven. Okay, on the play against red, let's uh, let's see how if it's uh, well. It should be a bit easier in theory. But we didn't draw a land, and uh, we have one thing we can do without a land. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Angel. It seems good. Right. Um, just rush out an Archangel of Wrath. He needs something quite specific to be able to kill this. I think. 4-5 lifelinker. Red deck. Your move. Well, lightning strike. If I block and he's got a lightning strike, might be in trouble. And if he's got literally lightning strike, play with fire and a land. There's the land. Felden. Okay. Uh, he did not attack. Result. Okay, Angel. Okay, um, we can restoration here. And we can Sanctuary Warden next turn. That is if Giada actually stays alive. Is there anything we're scared about attacking? Um, Let's candle trap the 3 3 and give him less options. And do we attack for 4 and gain 4 life? Yes. He's going to attack back for 6. Okay, another haster. Let's call it eight damage. Uh, fine, I'll take eight. So, oh yeah, that's this guy's a legendary. That's why the other one went away. I may discard a card. Okay. What if I don't want to? Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. I will discard a Giada. Uh, thank you very much, and I will bring back a certain. Um, permanent. I will attach this one to Felden. Play that. Uh, play a Sanctuary Warden. It's just a casual 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, let's take a counter. Okay, he's given up for some reason. Alright, on the play versus mono red might be alright. I mean, well, the, if he can kill Giada, it makes life, it, that would have made life more difficult for me. I was lucky I top decked some lands, of course, so I could do my stuff. I think that that was uh, that was quite good. That was quite interesting. So we lost to the black red Mishramel deck. We lost to Mono Blue Tempo, which because he had um, three Telerian Terrors. He had counter spells for both of well or protection for both of my laydown arms. Um, to try and to try and save myself in that last turn. So. Uh, that, yeah, the blue deck, ha he managed to get three of his card draw cards, so he was 
substantially ahead of me on cards. Let's have a look at this deck then. We did not see uh, Lux Yorgiada's Gift. It's a, it's kind of a fun card. Um, one day we will we will play it. Uh, we've we've switched to four candle traps. It's better against um, Telerian Terra. Uh, probably best of one creature aggro, I would say. Uh, but yeah, nice to have one march in the deck. Seem it's quite good at taking out those one mana sagas. didn't see the Enduring Angel. I think, no, maybe we saw him once in the first game. And he ran into a, uh, yeah, that was the the Grindy Yorzov deck, and it did a uh, farewell <laughs> as soon as he had turned up. We got to Ultimate Elspeth. I don't think I've done that before, so that's quite cool. We got to kill lots of Shieldreds. We had that very awkward game where we had to candle trap a shieldred. This is the drawback with candle trap. It's not the best card to take out shieldred. Uh, yeah, but uh, that was that was quite fun. Would recommend. Um, I know there's the uh, the Mardu Angels deck, which is quite popular, but you know it's got the um, it's just jamming in all the the best Mardu cards. The you know. Wedding Announcement, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, and uh, the Vampire, the Uncommon Vampire. So, you know, that's that's a good stuff deck. But anyway, it's got the, um, what do you call it, the Archangel of Wrath. But this is a dedicated Angels deck, and I'm just trying to splash the, uh, of course, the, um, the Archangel Kicker mana. And it, we actually did, did a good job of getting this. Um, it's a shame there's no Mardu Triland, but yeah, this, I think it's better to have ones that are that count as planes for the uh, benefit of lay down arms. Yeah, uh, if we did have a lot of two land hands, maybe we should be on twenty five land, twenty six land. Uh, but yeah, that's all I would say there. So yeah, uh, I think that is a video. Um, Thanks for watching.